I'm doing. So, um, live Skyrim, this is part four of the Dawn God Walk from doing. So, um, we just finished getting the Elder Scroll before this, so, uh, we've only got one at the moment. We need to get a second one here, which is in Castle Volkhar. Just on the left hand side of the castle around here. So these skeletons are a lot tougher than normal skeletons. So that's not saying much, normal skeletons are a complete choke. Doing a lot of damage. That was close. There's still one left, so one left. Um, yeah, I think once you've killed all these ones, you just want to head straight inside. Right. So yeah, once you come in here, you want to watch out. There's a few animals around, like him. We've got a death arm by the sounds of it. Two. That'll do the trick. Oh wait, another one. deal with that. So you want you want to do come up here and there's a lever just here, so on the balcony. So a lot of people get stuck on that bit. I see she's not so incompetent after all. Yeah. So yeah you want to go left here. Oh
Yeah, so there's a lever up here you need to get this drawbridge down, but um, yeah, you'll see it's pretty heavily guarded. You can hear the spider already, there's death hounds. This is nice. There's bones and blood and everything. Right, yeah, so, uh, let's take these healing potions. Yeah, and there's a nice big spider in there. Let's see if I can get his attention. There he is. Yep, so here's the lever. Yep. I'll just put the bridge down there. You can get through. Oh, yeah, this um, blue bar on the top right hand corner, that's Frostfall. If you haven't heard of it, um, it's effectively a mod that introduces um, climate effects. So, you know, hot and cold and everything to Skyrim. I think it's a plug in for Campfire, but it's quite a popular mod. Very, very good mod, I'd say. Yeah, so this should be the courtyard up here. You've made it to the courtyard. Oh no. What happened to this place? Everything's been torn down. The whole place looks well dead. It's like we're the first to set foot here in centuries. This used to lead into the castle's great hall. Looks like my father had it sealed up. We used to walk through here after evening meals. It was beautiful once. This was my mother's garden. Do you know how beautiful something can be when it's tended by a master for hundreds of years? She would have hated to see it like this. Wait. Something's wrong with the moon dial here. Some of the crests are missing and the dial is askew. I didn't even know the crests could be removed. Maybe my mother's trying to tell us something. Yeah, so um, I had to get those missing crests. Um, so yeah, there should be one over here. This pond. There's one up here somewhere. I believe there's one in a garden as well. So you just want to go and place them in all the missing quest areas. I'm telling you, there's something strange with the moon. There we are. Very clever, Mother. Very clever. I've never been in those tunnels before, but I bet they'd run right under the courtyard and into the tower ruins. Well, at least we're getting closer. Let's go. <sighs> we're getting close. I'm sure of it. Just want to pull this chain here. And I think that's going to be... 
Ah, a lot of skeletons. Yikes. This is a pretty tough one as well, by the looks of it. So yeah, you don't want to let this guy hit you, because he'll absorb all your health very quickly. Mm, there is quite a lot of loot here, you just have to be looking for it. A skeleton, how tanky is he? It's like no damage there, so much health. Gargle. So, uh, yep, this bit, when I get through there, um, the chain is just at the back there, but when you put it, the gargoyle will go ballistic and start attacking you, so let's be ready for that.
Ahora. They're not very smart, you can just kite them, really. Oh, I'll say that. Ow, ow. Crap, how much health am I on? Oh, zero, zero health, right, okay, that makes complete sense. Wow. That was unbelievably close. Wow. Well, I think we should probably quick save after that. Yeah, you can go through here, but obviously there's a door here. Give it ten tries, and if I can't go through. Ah. There we are. So, yeah, I don't think there's really much good loot, but you know, just to show you what's in here, you've know, just got some potions. I guess even minor stamina potions are really good. Um, oh wow, take that back, Ebony Bow. Right, okay. We're getting close. I'm sure of it. Anything good? Turns out my mother was sneakier than I thought. I wonder what she's hiding. Who's there? <laughs> Hit me through the wall. Oh no. It's one of these skeletons. Dead. God, that one's so dangerous. Then you have these ones that are just a complete joke. Skeletons resurrecting other oh, skeletons at this point. Right. Actually, pretty difficult to be honest. Some really tough enemies here. Um. Oh yeah. Let me just try and remember which. I think you have to cross the bridge up here. Yeah. Yeah, now this bit is really, really difficult, so I would say you should save here. It really does kick off. But like three or four gargoyles at once. So as long as they're the normal ones, they're not so bad, it's the brutes that are hard.
Nice. Yeah, so by the way, yeah, this is um vampire royal armor, so that's the set Solana's wearing. So actually there's only two times in the whole game you can actually get this legitimately. So you can either get it off Harkon at the end of the quest line, or you can get it here. So yeah. May as well pick it up. Uh oh yeah, here we are. Trade some things. It's always worth checking these gargoyles. Look at this. It's just ridiculous. I need to give some more stuff to this pack in your hair. Hmm. Oh no, she looks ridiculous in that. Oh yeah, that's fine. Yeah, so um, this bit, this bit, people get stuck on as well. There's a lot of um, confusing parts here. So what you want to do is just touch this candlestick, get straight through. Right, so here we are then. This is um. I won't spoil what it is, but yeah, this is like the end of the dungeon. So yeah, you might want to pick this up as well. It's just here on the shelf. It's a journal. Let's take a look around. There has to be something here that tells us where she's gone. You found her journal. <laughs> Let me take a look at it. I only know what she told me. <sighs> she had a theory about soul gems. That the souls inside of them don't just vanish when they're used. They end up in the soul cairn. The soul cairn is home to very powerful beings. Necromancers send them souls and receive powers of their own in return. My mother spent a lot of time trying to contact them directly, to travel to the Soul Cairn itself. That circle in the center of the room is definitely some type of portal. If I'm reading this right, there's a formula here that should give us safe passage into the Soul Cairn. A handful of Soul Gem shards, some finely ground bone meal. Oh, damn it. We're also going to need a sample of her blood, which... If we could get that, we wouldn't even be trying to do this in the first place. Hmm, not bad. We better hope that's good enough. Mistakes with these kind of portals can be... gruesome. Anyway, enough of that. Let's get started. Right, so, um... Yeah, you just want to look for those ingredients, so... Bone meal, not this bone meal, this one here. Finding ground bone meal there. Um... Don't forget to pick up a lot of the loot. There's some really, really good loot here. Just, is that, not that one. Yeah, I believe there's some black soul gems and everything like that. So, um, black soul gems are really rare. Um, so you can use them to trap human souls. And they count as ground souls, uh, grand souls. So, really, really good for enchanting. Um, yeah, it's probably not worth getting them. And over here, uh, I think, there we are. That's... Not these void souls, these ones here we are, purified void souls. And obviously you might want to take these as well, because, yeah, there's a quest with fire souls. Here you just give them back to Samara. Any luck yet? Wait, we still need something. Oh yeah. Hmm. Not sure what else we need. I thought we had everything. I 
I'm going to go everything at this point. Any luck yet? You did? Let me see that. I only know what oh, she had a I think it's just glitched. The soul my mother spent a lot of that circle. If I'm reading this right, a handful of oh, <sighs> we're also going to need a sample. Hmm. Anyway, enough of that. Oh, good. Well, then. Let's head over to the portal vessel and I'll do the rest. Yeah. That's it occasionally. And the rest is up to me. Are you ready to go? I'm not entirely sure what this thing is going to do when I add my blood. Okay, here goes. So that will happen if you're not a vampire. Now that I think about it, I should have expected that. Sorry. It's hard to describe. The soul cairn is well, hungry, for lack of a better word. It's trying to take your life essence as payment. There might be, but I don't think you're going to like it. Vampires aren't counted among the living. I could probably go through there without a problem. Not your first choice, I'd guess. Maybe. We could just pay the toll another way. It wants a soul, so we give it a soul. Yours. My mother taught me a trick or two. I could partially soul trap you and offer that gem to the ideal masters. It might be enough to satisfy them. It would make you a bit weaker when we travel through the soul cairn, but we might be able to fix that once we're inside. Maybe. I'm sorry. I wish I knew a better way, something that would be easier for you. Just know that whatever path you choose, I won't think any less of you. Sometimes things just have to be done. I know that better than anybody. Yeah, so here I'm not going to become a vampire. I'll probably just go with the partial soul trap because you know I don't want to have to go through the whole cure process. That just takes so long, really. But um, yeah. I'm willing to do it, but you need to think it through. You'll remain mortal, but you'll find yourself weakened within the soul cairn. I know this is difficult for you. I hope you trust me. I'd never do anything that could hurt you. Thank you. Let's not waste any more time then. I promise to make this as painless as possible. Hold still. Yeah, I like the way it plays the uh, death sound effect. So after that, you should just be able to head straight inside. Right, so um, that we have actually finished chasing echoes. So that was, I think, already about as long as the other episodes. Um, so I'd say that we should probably finish this one here. And then we'll do the whole soul cone part in the next episode. So thanks for watching, guys. Um, have a good day.